Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I do hope you're doing well. Over the past couple of months, I have been on the search for tinder fungus. That's fungus that you can, uh, you can throw a spark into, whether it be from your ferrocerium rod or from uh, a flint and steel, and you get burning embers, which of course you can then put into your uh, tinder bundle or bird's nest and, uh, and turn into a fire. Um, it's great because you can, uh, you can carry these fungus around and transport your fire from one location, one camp, to another location um, without having to start a fire up uh, all again. Uh, well, I, I guess you need, to, <laughs> you need to, uh, to build the fire up again, but it means that, you, for example, if you, you were using um, friction fire, you could use the tinder fungus to take from the embers of your fire and then you're already the ember step, which is most of the friction fires to build that ember, you're already into that part of the fire lighting process. There are a couple of different tinder fungus, funguses that I, or fungi even that I've been looking for. Um, one of them is the uh, Ganoderma aplanatum, which is also known as artist's conch or uh, artist's bracket. Um, and the reason for that will become quite apparent when you see it. Um, you, rec you might recognize them um, from, from fairy tales and things like that. They're the ones that stick out like a shelf um, uh, from, from a tree and they are also known as like shelf fungus. Um, I've been trying to find one as I said. I got lucky a couple of weeks back in a new location that I've decided to come and, um, and, and explore um, with my bushcraft skills. I was so excited I couldn't believe it. I could not determine what the tree was though because it was a, a very dead stump of a tree um, and it was very difficult to identify there was there was no foliage to go off or anything like that and it didn't seem like any of the other trees in its environment i'm back at that location today but in a different part of the woodlands and i'm going to search to see if i can find some um, i've heard that they tend to grow on um, on dead silver birch trees so i'm going to go and hunt for them and see if i can find some of these artist brackets Yeah, great. This tree looks like it's uh, it's been dead quite a while, and this type of fungus does like to live on dead trees. This is exactly what we're looking for. And oh yeah, at the base here, there's there's some great stuff. Let me show you. Okay, guys, I've managed to find a dead tree that is absolutely full of Ganoderma aplanatum. I found a great specimen down here on the lower to the ground. I'm going to apply force with my foot to take it off. If if you didn't have uh, one so low to the ground, you simply take out your your trusty knife and you cut round the back in a in a soaring motion, and um, and you will still need to apply pressure, but it will come off. So I'm going to do that now. Apologise for stepping in the shot. Okay, there we go. That took uh, a bit more force than, uh, than I thought it would, but it has broken off. One of the, the reasons why this is called artist bracket is the, uh, the base is white. In fact, let me, let me show you this. This isn't the best specimen, actually. It looks like something's uh, brushed against it, but I'm gonna write you a message in the bottom. And it just takes almost instantly. I've tried to write you a message anyway. Uh, where are you? There you are. Get you, get you, me in focus here. Let's uh, do this. There we go. So you can see I've written hi into the fungus. This was bright white as it came off, and the, this browning here is literally just my fingerprints touching it. That's how delicate it is, but it is known as artist bracket or artist conch because um, 
because of that, because you can draw and write messages on it. What we're interested in though is, as you can see here, I'm going to just increase the exposure. Uh, there we go. That's much better. As you can see here, the Albany kind of orangey colour material, it feels like suede. It's known as Amadou and that's what actually holds, um, once it's dried out, um, it holds very well um, an ember and, and, and it just burns away slowly, very slowly as an ember um, after just a tiny spark touches it. Um, you'd be shocked, I've, I've been shocked at how less of a spark it takes. It literally, the ferro rod hits it, you don't need to do any more, it will start to smolder away um, and it lasts quite a considerable time. What I'm going to do now is just cut through the cross section. I'm not going to be processing it on this video, I will leave that to another video, but I will make a, a video doing that. And just a little note, these things are tough as old boots to get through. The outer shell is very hard. Okay, so all I've done there is with my knife, there we go, back in shot, with my knife I've cut through so that you can see a cross section. Um, and wow, boy, this is a specimen, this is, this is a really good amount. You don't normally get it this thick. So if we look at the cross section, Sorry, there we go, I apologise for the camera angles. Um, if you look at the cross section, this tough outer shell, I'm going to hit it with my knife now. That tough outer shell um, is very thin and can be carved away with a knife. And here, this layer, they are the, uh, the, the, the spore tubes. And this here, what a whopping fine. This is a really great fine, I'm very happy with this. This is the Amadou. Um, it was used by our ancestors, our evolutionary ancestors, um, and, and it's been found in various archaeological um, uh, digs and and um, and, and, and um, what, what what do you call them? Uh, free, frozen mummies, I guess. They uh, they've been found to be carrying um, amadou or or, fung or the tinder fungus like this. So we know um, that our ancestors used this to either create fire or to transport fire. It's a strange material, it's a, it's a fluffy material, and as I said before, it does take a, a, a light very well. There are various different ways to use and process this. I'm gonna look at that in a separate video. If you've enjoyed this video, um, do make sure that you hit the like button and leave a comment for me down in the, uh, the comment section. And it would be great if you could subscribe to me, I'd really appreciate it. And to make that just a little bit easier, hit that subscribe button, bang, up there. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here and I shall see you on the next video. Take care.